We're almost done with the programming for the AI robot pig. Imagine the endless possibilities for entertainment. Yeah, but let's just make sure to run a thorough test before we present it to the higher-ups. Don't worry, everything's under control. Let's power up Met Porker and see what we've got. Switching on the AI in three, two, one. Uh, hello there, fellow humans. My name is Met Porker, your personal AI companion. What if you could rewrite the ending of your favorite TV show? What if AI could create brand new episodes of popular series like South Park? Well, hold on to your remotes, because that's exactly what a group of ingenious researchers have achieved. AI. We thought we had everything under control. The plan was to create an AI-generated pig character that would provide viewers with groundbreaking entertainment. We never imagined it would turn out like this. They developed a groundbreaking AI system known as Show One. And let me tell you, the results are pretty good. They're better than good. So, how does this AI wizardry work? Let's break it down. First, the researchers use large language models like GPT-4, basically AI with the ability to understand and generate human-like text. They train these models on data from TV shows, including South Park episodes. But that's not all. Show One goes above and beyond by combining LLMs with a multi-agent simulation. Once upon a time in a small town called South Park, weird started to happen. No, it's not about a little girl with psychic powers or the comeback tour of Elvis, for which I have some tickets left if you're interested. This story is about weird sh This brilliant approach provides contextual guidance and intentionality to the AI, making it an active participant in the long-term creative process. Sound confusing? Well, it, it kinda is. Well, partner, looks like it's time to rustle up some starfish for this old cow alien. Yep. We gotta ride our tricycle horses across the Rainbow Desert before the Lizard Shark Sheriff captures our teddy bear saloon. Dude, this makes absolutely no sense. What the hell happened to Westland Chronicles? This is what happens when you let AI write a show. It's just a jumbled mess of random ideas. <laughs> Whatever, guys. I'll have you know that this is the most cutting-edge, forward-thinking television serialization in the history of ever. Cartman, are you seriously not seeing how bad this is? They're riding tricycle horses and chasing starfish. That's called creative storytelling. AI has opened a portal to new mind-expanding possibilities that you simpletons can't even begin to understand. Imagine a world where you could decide how a show progresses. This is a basic version of that. By leveraging data points like character histories, emotions, and simulation events, the AI generates scenes and image assets that seamlessly fit into the existing story world of the IP. Look, we found a magical unicorn. Let's collect its poop for the rainbow potion. See, genius. Now, let's talk visuals. Show One utilizes Stable Diffusion, a generative AI model that we all know and love. Two models were trained with Dream Booth of over 1,200 South Park characters and 600 backgrounds, learning the show's distinct style. Two custom models, one for characters set against a keyable background color, and one for clean backgrounds. You know, houses, the school, mountains, and, and stuff. Everything is prompted from the visuals to the main story. In order to generate a full South Park episode, they prompt their story system with a high-level idea, usually in the form of a title, synopsis, and major events. From this, the story system automatically extrapolates up to 14 scenes by making use of simulation data as part of a prompt chain. The showrunner system takes care of casting, the characters for each scene, and how the story should progress. The AI then progressively refines the scenes, cast, and dialogue based on your input and the simulation's data. And the best part? The AI-generated content isn't just a random mess. The multi-step prompt chaining process ensures coherence and alignment with the South Park world. It's pretty amazing. Check the link below for the full episode. Oh, and also check this video. By the way, did you know that laughing too loudly is illegal in Hawaii? Apparently, they only allow aloha.